So if you look at quickly the elements of a balanced vacation, we will start with something called physical activities. As I mentioned earlier, physical activities are extremely important for our children today. You will find so many children going into uh, diabetes, so many children having uh, cholesterol at a very early stage, 13-year-old children, 14-year-old children having cholesterol problems simply because of the lifestyle that they lead and the type of food that they take and the lack of physical activities. You can't blame them too much because, you know, physical activities are restricted to a certain extent in the, in the world that we live in today because well, unless they have certain PT classes in school or unless you're putting them into some kind of training programs after school, they don't really have too many opportunities. But believe me, in the last four to five years time, Qatar has put so much of emphasis on physical activities. There are so many parks out there. There are so many areas where you can actually go and do something. Just moving your leg itself is a physical activity. You don't have to go do great things. You don't have to go do, you join a gym or anything. If you are living in a flat, in an apartment, and if you have a lift and a staircase, encourage yourself and the children to go and up and down using the staircase rather than the lift. That is a simple physical activity. We don't have to think about too many complicated activities when you talk about physical development of children and parents during the summer vacation. If your child does not know swimming, if they do not know swimming, this is the perfect time to put them into a swimming class. Believe me, swimming is a life skill. It can save somebody, it can save your child, it can save you, it can save others. So if your child does not know swimming, this is the perfect time, especially in the summer in Doha or wherever you may be going on vacation. If you have a swimming pool in the hotel or in the house or in the neighborhood, please go and join a swimming class for them. And if you are not swimming yet, I think it's good for you to do it as well because there's a lot of benefits of swimming. It's a physical activity that does not put a lot of effort onto the joints especially people who are a little on the obese side, the buoyancy of the water will help you to stay floating in the water while you do certain exercises. So physical activities like swimming, sports, join a football class or karate program or whatever it may be, whatever your child wants to do. Okay, and this is very important for us as parents as well. We don't put them in a class that we want them to go to. You put them in a class that they want to go to. So have that interaction with your child and ask them, these are the different options available. Which one would you like to pick up? Okay, so then it becomes something that they wanted to do and not something that the parent forced upon themselves. So physical activities is something that we need to think about and look at intellectual stimulation. Intellectual stimulation is very important to, uh, to be considered during a vacation because it's not just about taking rest. It's not just about playing with your uh, mobile phones or with your iPads or with your uh, PS4 or whatever other games that you have over there. You need to have some kind of a intellectual stimulation for the child. So how do you give us an intellectual stimulation? Reading is one excellent way of doing it. A lot of our children do not read these days. Many of our children do not like to read books. They're forced to read the textbooks and forced to do the assignments and activities in their notebooks. But how many of them really would like to pick up a book and read something? It could be a story, it could be fiction, it could be non-fiction, it could be some kind of motivational stuff, it could be religious literature, whatever they are interested in, let them read it. So it's a nice way of picking up on some kind of an intellectual stimulation during the vacation period. Encourage your children to attend certain workshops or any other educational programs that are being conducted by the so many institutions, either in Doha or wherever you may be going to. This is something that they can learn new. Maybe some of your children are interested in robotics. Find a class where they are doing robotics and put your child over there. That's a beautiful way of learning. The whole world is moving towards artificial intelligence, coding and things like that. Today, coding is an essential skill for most of our children. I remember when I grew up in my schooling stage, stage, typing, you know, we used to go attend typing classes to learn how to type. Today, most of our children can type faster than us. They can use the computers and the mobile phones faster than us and more effectively than us. Okay, so this is a good opportunity for you to teach them something more that they can add to it. Coding is an excellent way of doing it and introduce them to artificial intelligence. There are so many programs available in Doha and online related to artificial intelligence because our educational system today is moving towards a system which will incorporate artificial intelligence. 
a lot of the things that we do manually today can be done automated using artificial intelligence. So your children need to get exposed to how to use artificial intelligence in their academics. And this is a beautiful way of intellectual stimulation for any child of any age. Go in for creative pursuits. Find out what are the hobbies that your children like to go to. It may be something to do with music. It may be arts. It may be craft. It may be yoga. It may be whatever it is. Whatever your child likes to pursue, pursue, let them pursue. And most importantly, use the same time for you to pursue your creative pursuits. You may not have been able to do that because the children are so busy with studies throughout the year. But now you have two months of vacation. So what's stopping you? What's stopping you from pursuit that you always wanted to take up? You wanted to, you maybe you're some of you are artists by creative uh, way of doing things. You want to paint things. Maybe you want to go into baking or make, go into some kind of other activities, carpentry or things like that. Whatever creative pursuits are there, make it happen because it's important for us to stimulate the left side and the right side of our brain. And most of you, I'm sure you already know that one side of the brain is all about intellect and about uh, analytical thinking and the other side of the brain is about creative thinking. So you need to be able to balance both. So your activities during the summer vacation for you and for your children should have the intellectual stimulation, physical activity, creative pursuits, and then of course, social engagements. One of the biggest challenges that our children face these days is they do not know how to socially connect with people. Many of them are silent. They do not even talk to each other. Many of our children, and wait for uh, your kids to get into your 16s and 17s and 18s, they will stop talking with you. And all of a sudden, it's very difficult. For a father like me, I felt very, very, very hurt when the children who used to come after you for everything, saying, Papa, this, Mama, this, Papa, this, Mama, this, suddenly stop talking to you. And they are in their own world. They are connected in their own environment with their friends. Maybe some of them don't even have friends. We never know. Other than maybe something on the, on the mobile phones that they have. That's what they are connecting with. So this is an opportunity for social interaction, not just with family members, but with peers. Take them for parties. Take them to meet with their friends. Take them, have some kind of play dates arranged so that your children are going to some other children's house. Work with them the whole day. Stay there the whole day. Let them sleep there overnight. No problem. But this is what builds social engagement and independent living skills. Okay, so focus on social engagements. And as I mentioned earlier, life skills and independent living skills. This is very important for you to focus on during this vacation. And I will give you one more box, which is actually an empty box. So apart from what I have been telling you so far about intellectual stimulation, physical activities, creative pursuits, social engagements, life skills and independent skills, what else would you like to fill in this particular box? Can I ask you to do some chatting because I've been talking for too long and you've been silent for too long. So can you use your chat boxes to tell me what would you, I'm not going to call out any names from your family, from what I have seen, from what you know about your children, what you know about your requirements, things that you have been parking aside, what would you like to put into the extra box that I have for balanced vacation? Now, to learn new language, yes, connect with nature, absolutely, absolutely. Johan, Mr. Samir, charity, lovely, yes, that's about social engagements and connecting with uh, charitable activities, value of ethics, yes, this is definitely very important, ethics. Okay, some of our children do not know that when an elder walks into the house, they are expected to stand up and say, hello, uncle, hello, auntie. Yeah, what would they be doing? They would be playing with their mobile phones and sitting over there. Correct? So we need to change these things. We need to be able to give them some value systems that are traditional because we were taught those value systems. We were taught those value systems by our parents, by our uncles, by our aunties. Who is teaching our children these value systems? The school has a role to do it and they're doing it within their best of their abilities. But the school has the children only for a certain number of hours in a day. Rest of the time they're with you. So we need to create that. We need to create humbleness, mindfulness, empathy, mindfulness, promoting empathetic approach, connecting with values. Absolutely. So I will leave this empty for you. So whatever fits your requirement within your family, put it in there. And you can have any more number of boxes over here as you're going to develop your own balanced vacation, okay? So as I said earlier, I can only share certain things with you. 
how you're going to take this forward and implement it is entirely up to you. You can walk away from this presentation saying, oh, okay, it was nice. I heard a lot of things. And then within the next two days time, if you haven't started taking action, you're going to lose it. Nothing will happen. Okay. So I would, there, there's a saying, right? Strike the iron while it's still hot. So when these things are still in your mind, do something about it. Okay.